I honestly feel that I am sleeping through my children's lives. I've missed out on so much. Jodie Robson can fall asleep for days at a time and as a result has missed some of the biggest events of her life. The longest I've been asleep is I think about 11 days. My eldest son, I don't remember his birth at all. I think I went into an episode the day before I went into labour and I come out of it about two and a half weeks later completely. While her family is supportive, her condition puts strain on her relationships. It's a great struggle when Jodie's having one of her episodes and she's asleep because I'm on call 24-7 with the job I do. I have to phone around, obviously need to try and get some help with the boys. And while not yet officially diagnosed, she could be suffering from a recognised condition. KLS is a, a very rare condition. Having episodes lasting up to 11 days where you sleep continuously, then having weeks between another episode is quite typical. The 24-year-old had her first experience of the condition when she was 12. I was living in Spain at the time and I went to a friend's sleepover. I felt really weird and tired and I just went to sleep and I didn't wake up for about eight days. When I was just coming out of an episode, nothing seemed real, everything was dreamy. I couldn't remember anybody, I couldn't remember who I was. We was really shocked, I was worried when Jody first fell asleep and we just wanted somebody to tell us what was wrong with her. Since then, Jody has had over 50 episodes, sleeping through birthdays, holidays and Christmases. Even though Jodie may look awake during her episodes, they can be frightening for her and those around her. My husband has told me that it's like I'm a total different person, like I'm just not there. When Jodie fell asleep at Christmas, uh, it was horrible. Yeah, she was awake and opening presents and stuff like that, but you could just tell she wasn't herself. When she's coming out of it, she's really sleepy, drowsy. She like walked really funny. But when she's out of it, great, she's like back to normal. After, well, it could be a few days, a few weeks, it's hard to say. The sleeping part's not so much scary. It's the recovery afterwards. You're scared that you're not gonna be out, back to normal completely. The days just drag away. While dealing with her episodes is difficult enough, Jodie has the added frustration of being undiagnosed. Although she believes she has KLS, and has found support from other sufferers on Facebook. It's important for me to get diagnosed with KLS because it would be a weight off my shoulders and my family's shoulders after 10 years of having these, we call them, funny turns. The klein devin syndrome, or KLS, is a, a very rare condition in which people will have repeated episodes of sleepiness where they'll sleep almost continuously. It's perfectly possible to go into an episode of KLS and then to have no recollection or very little recollection, very often what people say is that it's almost like being in a dream, they just have these little images that they can remember. The fact that she went into the episode during pregnancy is perfectly possible, and I think is an indication of, of how real a symptom this is, how people will sleep through almost anything, how the sleep is a deep and devastating occurrence during these careless episodes. But while Jody waits for a diagnosis, she's determined to make each day count. When I'm not in an episode, we totally forget that I've got Klein 11 syndrome. We live like a normal family. When I have my episodes, that's when our life's on hold. 